Gus Allen, question coming in. Does Ross still have a chance at winning the MVP? I, I think there is a chance, but I, I'm not convinced that Russ truly controls his own destiny anymore with as good as Patrick Mahomes has played. Yeah. Now, I, I, I do think that, that there could end up being a scenario where you know, something wild happens and, and you know, they, they end up closing strong and all of that. But I, I think the more likely outcome here is that Mahomes ends up winning MVP. With that said, if Russell Wilson is able to close the season strong and he kind of plays like first quarter of the season, Russell Wilson, and the matters. Seahawks get the number one seed, I believe there could be some Mahomes. Now, it also requires Mahomes to Take come back, back down to earth. If Mahomes finishes like 40 and 4, TD to interception ratio, sorry, it's probably going to be in Mahomes because Wilson threw too many interceptions and it's a stat based award. But if the Chiefs don't get the number one overall seed and the Seahawks do, because we know it's stats and wins for MVP, I think there is a shot for Russ. Okay, that's fair. I mean, who do you think is more important to their team, Russell Wilson or Patrick Mahomes? Uh, Either, yes. <laughs> like, it, 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 <laughs> no, it's a tough it, question. It, 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 there is no answer. Okay, like I, there is. Without without those quarterbacks, both teams suck. Oh, I agree. Like in terms of overall talent, sure, you'd probably pick Mahomes before you pick Wilson. If, but it, I think if that's Russell Wilson is probably more important to his team than Patrick. Mahomes. I think both of those teams absolutely collapse if they had to throw out like, oh, I don't know, Trace McSorley or RG three. All right, that's not the you question know? here. We want to know who's going to win the NFL MVP in 2020. Go down in the comments section and let us know. We would really appreciate it. Seahawks fan 24 is DK Metcalf the best wide receiver in the NFL. No, I don't know if he's the best. I think he's top five though. Oh, he's got to be there. I, I think, think the question is, is he better than Tyler Lockett? Yes, and I he actually is. think he is. I, I, I think that proverbial torch has been passed this off season. What DK Metcalf has done this year wow. is taken a leap that, frankly, I didn't even speak. If you had told me, hey, these are DK season stats, I'm like, all right, damn, good year. Throw him the ball more. Well, this is with five games left to play. Yeah. And he leads the NFL in receiving yards this year. When he is on, despite honestly not even having the best hands in the NFL, dude is uncoverable. Like Darius Slay repeatedly for Philadelphia against Seattle was in good position, and it didn't matter. Blows my mind how he fell that far in the NFL draft. Like, this this guy deserved to be taken a hell of a lot earlier than, than, than what he did. Teams continue to fail to put three cones out there, but that's a whole different conversation See, gonna, in the end. I'm not going to make this comparison because I don't think he's Calvin Johnson because I don't know if any will ever see that Jim again. Jim Schwartz was, uh, uh, got upset by that. I'll say this, though. I haven't seen in a long time since, like, a super healthy Julio Jones mm -hmm. where when you have per – it honestly reminds me a lot of DeAndre Hopkins. When you have perfect coverage on him, it doesn't this, matter. This if he wants to catch it, he catches it. This is it. why, if you're an NFL team, you just bet on the big, strong, fast guy at receiver. Like, that's why teams do this. I, he's not number one. I think he's top five, though. So let me know what is your favorite holiday. I, I am all team Christmas. I, I can't wait. I am hoping I get to go home and visit my family. Tom, what's your favorite holiday? And let I us love know in Christmas, the comments. man. Christmas is my favorite holiday. I have a blast every single year. It puts me in a jolly mood, damn it. Do you have any uh, do you have any traditions? We do, we do uh, cookies and we do cookies and alcohol on the twenty third. Well, that's every day, but okay. Can, can <laughs> continue. Is my, my mistake. <laughs> uh, the twenty fourth. I always get together with my mom's family. We play cards. 25th, we mm -hmm. just do, like, family feud with my dad's side, but it's an all-day event. Uh, Can't my, wait. my wife's side on Christmas Eve Eve meets up with a, with a, a bunch of friends here. Uh, my my family always opens up one present early on the 24th. Okay. But those have been, like, since – that was, like, before I moved, you know? Like, I'm on my own right now. So, like, we're trying to do the, the 23rd thing, and I still open a present early, but – Mostly, I just ask for cash these days, so those traditions are kind of so slowing my, down my, a little bit. This is why I love our live commenters. I see Christmas, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and 420. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> all right, so if you guys need a holiday stocking stuffer, maybe the guy at 420, cover your mouth a little bit. Go to chatsports.com slash stay safe. We got awesome NFL face masks able to hook you all up. Packs of three, packs of four, two mm. and one. And, Tom, I know you love this one in the Cowboys, the uh, patriotic one. Mm. They got all sorts of different ones. And, heck, they even got player mass available. We're going to put that link. It's going to be available for you all in the comments yes, sir. and then in the description. And look at this. We got Dylan to post for a picture. Shout out to producer Dylan wearing his Steelers face mask. Jetsports.com slash stay safe. I know it's not Dylan, but you know what? These are machine washable. They're awesome things to have, and you need to wear them. Why not rep your favorite team? That link is available. Jetsports.com slash stay safe.